by playing a song that I, I wrote uh, after my son went to college because I've been married for 30 years. So congratulate me. Let's start with that. And I wrote this song after my son went to college and my wife realized that there wasn't going to be any buffer between us anymore. It was a very difficult moment for Mrs. White and she's so happy that I travel around the country sharing it with strangers. <laughs> Rascal is the dog, he ain't too bright. Me and Rascal were sitting on the couch last night. When a woman come in and started to cry, she looked at us with such terror in her eye. eye, 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 eye. She said, I have raised these children for 18 years while you have done nothing. <laughs> Thirty seconds into the show and I found the pulse of the audience. <laughs> and now they're growing up and they're moving out of here and my big reward for all that I've been through is this dog as dumb as mud. And you, yippee yahoo. Rascal looked at me in disbelief. He said, she can't be talking about you and me. She has got us to spend the rest of her whole life with. Would you please tell her how incredibly lucky she is? And I said, who is going to love you any better than this? We'll wake you up every morning with big wet kisses when we hear the police sirens in your neighborhood. We throw our hands up in the air and we howl for you. Just good fortune that had just befallen her And back instead of looking happy as she could be She looked a little bit Well, you know <sighs> Suicidal to me <laughs> But hey, kids go to college And your kids move away But dogs and husbands, that's who stays To you it seems like a big trick of fate But me, me and Rascal don't see it that way. <laughs> We're thinking, ain't we cuddly? Ain't we cute? We're both real funny and we're both real true. There's another thing about us that is very cool. If you scratch us on our belly, our left leg moves. <laughs> and you gotta admit that's Put that knife down, baby. 